Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop and today we're going to be doing a tier list on the best Nike hoop shoes that you can get right now and we got four tiers as always so, so of course we got the S tier S tier is you should definitely definitely get this shoe I absolutely love playing in this shoe and also I mean this is just my opinion this is my list uh, so uh, yeah if you disagree with the list uh, tell us what your list would be down in the comment section below and also if you guys do want to get any of these shoes i try to leave an affiliate link in the description box and if you do want to help support me uh, you can become a member it's right underneath this video and it says join and if you do join you can become a member of this channel and uh, some of the perks is that i will be doing live streams on wednesdays at around 9 to 10 p.m every week and if you guys do want to talk to me i will have like a member only chat uh, for a little bit when i'm live and also i will be doing hoop sessions out in la if you guys do want to hoop with me then uh, that'll also be another perk of being uh being a member right but anyways uh, so s tier of course this shoe is amazing a tier is this shoe is also really really good but there's one or two things that i didn't really like about it and then b of course is it's it's all right but then like there's more things that i didn't like about it than like an a tier shoe of course and then a no is just don't get the shoe right so <laughs> of course we got the uh, del dons right the del dons were all right the it was pretty gimmicky as far as like the fly e system goes i didn't really like it all too much because it didn't improve lockdown that much you could put it on and you could slide it on pretty easily and it worked actually somewhat well but it like for actual basketball and actual performance it didn't have as good lockdown as i would like in a ball shoe you know what i mean so uh, that's why it is a no and also another thing that i really didn't like about it is attraction right so on a clean court it was all right you know it was a pretty good bite but then on dust it was absolutely horrendous for me personally so yeah that is a no-go for me now don't don't get it although the cushion was super duper nice all right lebron 20 this olive colorway by the way i think it's Olive? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what the colorway is, but this LeBron 20 colorway is absolutely amazing. I want to get the suede colorway, but um, it's 200 bucks, guys. <laughs> it's pretty expensive, but as you guys all know, S tier, the traction is amazing. It's, I'd actually say almost goat, you know, really, really good traction, amazing bite on a clean court and dusty court. Um, and cushion also is super nice. The cushion on full length cushion on in the heel. I'm very excited for the NXXT though. Uh, it's LeBron. I don't even know what that is. It's it's kind of like his budget shoe, but not really. You know what I mean? It's still like 160 bucks if I remember what the, the price was correctly. Uh, but anyways, yeah, in Zoom Turbo Unit and the forefoot for the LeBron 20, the materials are, I mean, in the regular LeBron 20, it's very, very nice. You know, it's like a, like a weaved textile material. It's thin, it's supportive and all that. So uh, LeBron 20, I really, really like. The LeBron Witness 7 is a, is a no uh, also. Uh, I don't like full length Air Max right? Uh, I just don't like Air Max in general. I mean, Air Max is just not that nice in my personal opinion. Cushion uh, is high up off the ground. Impact protection isn't the best. It's a little unstable. Traction also isn't great. I mean, I'm still playing in it right now and I'm still testing it out, but it's the same outsole and midsole as the LeBron Witness 6. So yeah, and then, I guess the materials are nice, you know, but not my favorite for performance. So uh, probably do not get this shoe, right? All right, next we got the Zoom GT Cut 2.0 and I give it a solid B plus, B plus, uh, not A, not B. Uh, but yeah, the Zoom GT Cut 2, just not not very nice for me. You know, the fit was very, very, uh, it's just too really, really tight, right? The cushion was super high up off the ground, too much compression. Uh, traction also wasn't amazing either. So especially comparing it to the first Zoom GT Cut, it's definitely not not on par, right? Uh, I would take the, the first one over the second one any day. So the second one is all right. Uh, I, I wouldn't say it's terrible. I wouldn't say don't get it, but I, I definitely feel like in my personal opinion, there's a lot better options out there. All right, next we got the KD15. For me, I, I honestly, I put it in S tier, but maybe A, just because I know a lot of people that have experienced pretty bad heel slippage. For me, it wasn't terrible. I, I experienced it a little bit, you know? It's just that my foot never fully came out of the shoe. You know, I heard some bad stories on, like, you know, I heard uh, some of you guys say that your actual foot came out of the shoe. So I don't know for me, I didn't experience that. It just like wasn't completely locked down, which wasn't terrible. So for me, maybe even borderline S tier, right? But uh, if you can try on the shoe, of course, before you buy it and see if you have heel slippage, I would recommend that. But the traction's top tier. Cushion with the full length zoom strobe was super nice. Cushion on in the heel, good compression, material is thin, good support and all that. So KD15, very, very nice. All right next, we got the KD Trade 510. Of course, that is an A tier. Almost S tier, it's just the support isn't the best, right? So for me, uh, it was good. It was adequate enough, so that's fine. But if you need a lot of support, 
uh, the material just is super soft. You know, it's super soft, it's super thin. Although there are lateral counters, I feel like the upper is a little too soft, right? So if you're a bigger dude doing a lot of lateral movements, then it's probably not the best option. But other than that, the shoe's really nice. You know, you got full length Renew Foam, you have a four foot zoom unit. Traction also is really, really nice. Material is thin. Uh, so just be careful on the support, but also it's a cheaper shoe, right? So uh, overall, it's a really nice performer and also it's a budget shoe. And next, we got the Zoom Freak 4 and Zoom Freak 4 also, I'd say it's a solid A, right? If it was like really, really good traction, like top tier traction, like the LeBron 20, then I would 100% put an S tier, but it's not. Once you break it in though, it's really good though. You know, it's just, it picks up a little bit of dust, right? And also the bite isn't as good as like the LeBron 20 or the KD-15s. Cushion also is really nice. You know, you have a lot of compression in the heel. You have the zoom units in the forefoot, which gives you that nice springboard effect underneath your foot. Not right underneath your foot, but it's more like a springboard effect, right? The materials are thin, overall super supportive shoe and very lightweight. And also I do like how it looks and there's some really good colorways coming out of that shoe as well. So I put it solid A tier. Okay, uh, the Giannis Immortality 2 is a B, B or a no. I, I give it a B minus, right? So the Giannis Immortality 1 was amazing, uh, but the 2, uh, they switched up the material and they made it like a mesh, right? Like a very open and not supported mesh. So even for me, doing lateral movements, uh, it did not feel, my foot did not feel contained into the shoe, like into the footbed, right? It would come out of the footbed a lot. And also the traction just wasn't as good. I feel like they switched up the tr the, the rubber compound or something, but the immortality too, just not very nice. So uh, because of those reasons, and also the cushion is very lackluster too. It, it's the same as the one, but you know, uh, the one had very good aspects, like better support and better traction. So that's why the two is in B tier. All right, the Cosmic Unity 2, I give it a solid S tier just because it's like the KD-15, but it does not have heel slippage. Or for me, I didn't have heel slippage. And you have the full length zoom struggle unit, of course, super bouncy, a lot of compression. Uh, you don't have Kushlon, however, but it, it's you don't really notice it all too much comparing it to the KD-15. Traction also is still really good. You do have to break it in, but once you break it in, it get it does get good. It's not top tier traction, however, so that kind of sucks, but it's still, it's still solid, right? And the material quality, I would also say is Way better than the KD-15. It's like a nice like textile, thicker material, better support too. Uh, so yeah, solid, solid S tier shoe. All right, next we got the Luca Ones. That also is a. I'll give it an A plus. Like I've been uh, hooping in the Luca Ones, and it's actually really nice. I enjoy playing in it just because I don't mind more of like a stiffer cushion. You know, uh, if, if that cushion is like a little too soft, I actually don't like it, right? So Luca wants, you have a responsive cushion, but if you want like anything from your cushioning setup, then it's not the best, but everything else about the shoe is super nice. You know, you have a very responsive cushioning setup. Traction is really, really good. Material is thin overall, and also it's supportive. You know, I had no issues with support and you feel very quick when you're playing in it. So a uh, solid A tier for me. Zion 2, same thing, solid A tier. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit like, it definitely doesn't feel bulky, um, but it's a little bit bulkier than like all the other shoes that I like to play, you know, like the Zoom Freak 4 or the LeBron 20, you know what I mean? Uh, but traction is really good. Cushion also is very, very nice. You know, you got that air strobing in the heel, very large volume zooming in the forefoot. Support is amazing. Material overall is super thin, uh, especially in, like for, for the mesh in the forefoot. And then you got that, the synthetic materials and stuff. So solid A tier. Um, if you're a guard though, probably not the best option. You can definitely make it work though, uh, but it's more for like bigger players, obviously right it's Zion's shoe next we got the Jordan 37 low which is solid a tier a tier I mean I okay it's really nice right uh, the traction is really really good it has an amazing bite it does pick up dust however but it's a very easy wipe cushion on the other hand is crazy it's too much for me personally with the double stack zoom strobe oh, it's a zoom strobe unit and then it's a double stack like uh, like there's another zoom unit underneath that it's a crazy amount of compression, too much bounce. So I don't feel as quick as I would like, um, but it's it's nice if you want that, right? But for me, not the best. That's why I'm putting an A tier. I feel like it's a little too crazy for me. Uh, if I really like the zoom unit, I would easily put an S tier though, right? But if you've tried the Jordan 37 or the Kyrie Infinity or the Kyrie 8, you'll definitely like the Jordan 37 low. It's also like more uh, minimal, right? And also the material is nice. It's like a uh, like a neoprene material with the linen weave on the side with good ventilation it looks it's a great looking shoe too in my opinion so a tier for me same thing with the jordan 37 right? i put it in solid uh, a maybe a minus just because the material quality like the linen weave isn't the best right the quality is not great and also durability i mean i haven't had any um, uh, terrible issues or anything but 
Uh, it's obviously not going to be as durable as the 37 low with the neoprene, right? Also, it's a high top, but you don't get any angle support. So I don't even know why they made a low, but uh, I guess it's better because the low is cheaper, you know, and also uh, better durability for materials. Uh, next, we got the one take four, and that's a solid B. Uh, every, dude, this shoe is really nice, guys, but the support was not great for me, right? So, so there's like a really soft mesh material and then like that plastic material over it, like super thin and see-through. But like my foot would move inside of the shoe a good amount. It didn't feel like super supportive for me. Uh, so if it's not super supportive for me, then like definitely other people are not going to like it. But traction is really good. The cushion also is really nice. You got that top loaded zooming in the forefoot. Uh, it's a very lightweight shoe as well, uh, so it just kind of sucks. I wish the support was a little bit better. So because of that, I'm putting it in a B. Um, uh, if, it, if I didn't have those issues, it would maybe probably be in like S or A tier. That's how much it's like, that's how nice it is. It's just the support wasn't the best, right? All right, next we got the uh, Precision 6 and that's a solid A tier. You guys already know and this colorway is absolutely amazing and it's going for pretty cheap, you know, and it's a great looking shoe. Traction is really good once you break it in. Cushion kind of sucks, it's more responsive. That's why I'm putting an A tier. Material, very thin, it's supportive and all that. And also, like I said, it's super cheap. It's, I've seen it on sale for like 60 bucks. So easy, easy A tier. Same thing with the Renew Elevate 3. A uh, really good cushion, good amount of compression in the heel. Uh, the traction is like, it's all right. You know, it's not top tier, but once you break it in, it does get pretty good. The material quality also isn't the best, but it's soft, it's comfortable. It's overall pretty supportive, not the most supportive material. So that's why it's an A tier. You guys already know about the PG6. And by the way, hopefully they don't discontinue the PG line, but a lot of, for some reason, there's been rumors that Nike is discontinuing the PG line. But anyways, yeah, the traction's top tier cushion with the full length React. You guys already know is absolutely amazing. Support, it was good for me. It's adequate, although it's not the most supportive shoe. So easy, easy S tier. Kyrie Infinity, A tier, right? Um, I mean, you know, I like everything about the shoe is super nice. Besides the cushion for me personally, I don't like the four foot zoom struggle. It's a little too unstable. It's a little too much compression. Uh, I mean, it's less than like the Jordan 37 because 37 is like double stack, but it's still a little too much for me. So that's why I'm putting an A tier. If you like that, then obviously it would be S tier. But for me, you know, it wasn't the best and traction was good. It was not the best, especially comparing to like older Kyrie's, but it's still like solid once you break it in. Materials, uh, thin, it's a supportive shoe and all that. Uh, yeah, no, this, no, no, no. Do not get the Kyrie Flytrap 6. Terrible shoe, traction's not good, cushion sucks. Material, not the best for quality. It's stiff, it's cheap. Uh, I guess support's good, um, but yeah, the fly trap, not not good. And it's, it sucks because the fly trap, like when it started, when the line started, the one, two, and three were really, really good, if I remember correctly, right? Kyrie Low 5 also is a solid A tier. The only reason it's an A tier is because the cushion isn't the best. Uh, but other than that, it's a very, very nice shoe. You know, top tier traction, cushion, uh, four foot zoom in it is eh, you know what I mean? Material is super thin. And uh, overall, support is good, and it's a great looking shoe. So uh, anyways, those are my top picks, or I guess the tier list of Nike basketball shoes that you can get right now, like on Nike.com. I literally just went on Nike.com and uh, took all the shoes on the basketball section, and this is the list, right? So I guess it's good. There's a lot of shoes in A tier. There's three in S, three in B, and then three in no. So um, I, that's, that's pretty good, I'd say, you know, and uh, again, this is just my list. So tell us what your S tier and also what your no list would be down in the comment section below. And also, again, if you guys want to get any of these shoes, I try to leave a free link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.